everybody. Today is gonna be a great day. It is Saturday morning. I'm looking a little cartoonish with my hair's a little ugly, but um, it is Saturday morning and I'm so excited. Today's the day that we are going to start our garden, as you can see from the title. So I have wanted to start a garden ever since Wednesday, basically, which is kind of how my brain works when I get an idea. Um, I get extremely obsessed and very excited and I have to do it now. So I've done my research and for those of you that uh, maybe are new and don't know, me and my husband Sebastian, we are renting out this townhouse from his grandma. So we do have a lot of like wiggle room and liberty to kind of do what we want here, but they already had a garden. So that's very nice. So they have a garden outside and um, it's just a little one, um, but it's a pretty decent size, at least for me. I've never gardened. So I think it'll be nice, but I kind of, we cleaned out the backyard last uh, weekend and it was really fun. And I made the garden, like I just cleaned it all up. And when I was cleaning it up, I was like, I would really like to like put stuff in here. And I think the act of like growing food, even, even if it is just like one little sugar snap pea or something like i just feel like it'll be very soothing and exciting and so um where is i going with this <laughs> it is 6 45 everybody i am up early to get this done but so anyway um i did all my research i kind of wrote my notebook what it is that i want what it is that i need went outside yesterday and cleaned it all up and then today we're about to go um to lowe's and get the seeds that we need and i think it'll be really fun so i thought i would show you guys just in case like i don't know when i was researching this there's many 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 beautiful gardens out there so i just thought i would share um, my journey of gardening and I think it'll be nice and soothing for you guys to watch so hopefully you guys enjoy if you do definitely subscribe to my channel and stick around for the next one because I think that you'd really enjoy it um so yes this is my dedicated um gardening journal which I'm so excited to have one of those so I have my list of all I need I'm semi ready for the day we are gonna get coffee first that is first 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 We are back home from Lowe's and I went to the grocery store, put everything away. I tried to clean myself up a tiny bit. I put sunscreen on, um, changed my clothes into something comfy and it's only 10 o'clock people. I'm feeling really good. I thought I would walk through the plants that we got um, and just kind of show you guys what we ended up picking up. Okay, so this is our little gathering here. This is kind of what we started with. So. We got a couple things of parsley, so we got two parsleys because I really wanted to buy a lot of things that like I hate buying at the grocery store and <laughs> we'll see how those go. And then we got a couple things of strawberries as well, which I'm really excited about. Sebastian's a big fan of cilantro, so we got a, um, this is confetti cilantro, which I've never heard of, but we decided to give it a try. And then um, this one here is a red bell pepper and we also got a green bell pepper. So we got a couple of those and then this is strawberries again i got another mint because i ripped up all of the mint over there <laughs> didn't really save any and i thought i would just get a little pot a new one of it so we got a little crazy and got some raspberries not sure how those are gonna go and then i was supposed to get sugar snap peas and for some reason i accidentally picked up a school cabbage so we're not really cabbage fans but i thought I guess we'll give it a try and then we got a thing of flowers to hang up there as well which i think will look really pretty um so yeah that's kind of all that we got like i said sorry my neighbors were like really close by so i feel like it was awkward um i should be over that by now but i'm not um but yeah i wanted to get a lot of herbs that we tried to look for green onion as well couldn't find it so i didn't want to like overwhelm myself with too much um produce so we started with that which i think will be really really good and then we'll see how it goes um because honestly i don't know i'm way nervous for the raspberries for some reason um 
I just don't know. I don't really know how those are gonna go. I, I get nervous when things have to grow like upwards. That's why we didn't get any tomatoes really because I didn't wanna have to worry about like making a vine. I think with the peas, we might have had to do that. I don't know, I have to do more research. But yeah, we accidentally got cabbage, which I guess will be fine. I like cabbage coleslaw, so we'll see. But yeah, that's our little garden haul. I'm really excited. I'm gonna go out there um, in just a little bit and kind of still clean it out. But first, I want to pot. Um, I'm gonna put our cilantro in a little pot as well as our mint because those um i kind of want to grow outside of the garden so this is the mint that i grabbed that i did save from um yesterday pulling it all out i'm gonna make mint tea so i thought i would just save this little bunch and then everyone just kept telling me to like put the mint in a pot but it was like really hard with the roots and as i was ripping it out I kept ripping the roots, so I just thought I would, that's why I bought a new one, um, just to start over. And those mint roots, I've never seen a root that strong. Like, I genuinely had to put like two feet on the ground and just yank, they were insanely in there. And I also found, picked up like, I don't know if it was like an asparagus, it looked like asparagus plant or something. Um, I took that out. There were like little onions in the ground. <laughs> so yeah, I just think, I'm gonna spend a ton of time just like getting everything out of there. We got new garden soil to lay down and um, so yeah, hopefully it will go well. I'm so nervous. <laughs> I've recruited a helper in my garden. <laughs> Baby say hi. <laughs> guys this seems to be like my new vlogging area when I want to like sit and chat in my bedroom um, which is very comfy on the floor and I still have this coffee table in front of me that I need to figure out excuse me what? what's the difference between like how do you say deer and deer um the animal is no, I, oh. I know what's the difference but oh. how do you say it what do you mean how do you say it deer and deer it's like the same it, it, sounds, it sounds the same oh, yeah <laughs> in our conversation <laughs> Um, I, yeah, I'm just, I don't really know what to do with this coffee table and I'm just, like many of you, always in the mood to like reorganize my life. But anyway, that is not why I came on here. Um, I thought I would just come on and just like end the vlog and answer a couple questions that I got over on my Instagram. If you guys don't follow me over there, it's just Carly Garcia underscore on Instagram. I also have it linked below, um, so that you can kind of, I don't know, stay in touch with me in my real life. I share normal things, what I'm eating, what I'm reading, all of that stuff. Um, and I shared a lot of the garden process. And so I got a couple questions um, and I'm in no way giving tips <laughs> because I've never started a garden, I don't know how to do it, and I'm not sure that it's gonna work. So I will link some of my favorite um, YouTube videos that I watched in preparation for planting my garden, as well as my favorite Instagrams, because um, there's a couple that I really love. So I will leave those linked because they give way more information and have like produce to back them up, basically. So um, me and Sebastian, our townhouse had a little area that was already made for us so if you want to start a garden with those cute little boxes or like make something like that i'd recommend watching those videos because we already had an area 
that was basically already done for us like it had great soil there was great water it was just like easy so um, I did get a question on if we wanted to do like seeds or if we did plants and as you guys saw from this video um, we did end up just going to Lowe's and get the getting the already like sprouted and planted um, not planted but already like grown <laughs> produce I literally don't know the verbiage um, but we were going to start with little seeds and do it as like an indoor garden I, I'd heard like easy ways to do that and it's fun and easy and all of that and then once they do grow and sprout you can put them into the ground to continue growing and then harvest that um, harvest them that way uh, but the reason why I didn't go that route was because there's kind of a little bit more equipment needed for that not really like equipment but just other things that we needed and it does kind of take a little bit longer and since it's already late in the game being April I just kind of wanted to get the plants that I know we can still plant in April and I just kind of wanted them already as like a little plant if that makes sense so we didn't do seeds um, but I think next year I really do want to start depending on how this year goes I would love to kind of venture into the indoor garden and seeing how that would go and then as far as like other things that you needed we just got um, just like one big bag of garden soil and that seems to be doing us well um, we just kind of mix the old soil with the new and we did get plant food which I'm supposed to put on the plants like in 30 days so we'll see how that goes um so those were the couple questions of like what we needed and what we got and we basically didn't really need a lot to be honest like you could get like garden tools and stuff like that and we did get a couple um but for the most part like once your garden is like cleaned up and um you know ready to go there's not a ton that you need to like maintain it as like tools wise I don't know maybe that's just me being naive and ours is really little as you guys have seen we have a lot more space um, that we want to utilize later on um, so we really don't have like an overflowing garden um, but yeah that just kind of like an overview I thought I would just answer those couple questions and um, we'll see how it goes it has just been such a fun like morning routine now it's only been four days <laughs> but it has been really fun to wake up go look outside see how they're doing water them we speak nice things to them and we want to encourage them to grow and hopefully we have something to share with you guys later on I don't know how long it'll take but um we'll see yeah uh me and Sebastian when we did the garden we were just saying how it was just so grounding and relaxing to hold the soil and touch the ground and really like just nurture our plants and plant them into the ground it was just like a nice relaxing thing to do um and we've really been loving it we call them our girls like <laughs> Sebastian just always says like those are his girls outside um so I really don't want them to die because we really love them already so I will keep you guys posted of course with um, the growth of them and the progress and if you guys have even like a little windowsill to start your herb garden I would encourage you to it's so fun to see something grow and just really be part of nature and I don't know growing something so I would definitely recommend if you have a little bit of space and if you guys have any other questions you can leave them down below I love talking about gardens now it's like my favorite thing ever so um, I'd love to continue chatting with you there and if you are new and enjoyed this video definitely give it a huge thumbs up and subscribe I would love to have you here for future videos and yeah I just really appreciate all the love I've been getting on my last couple videos so if you haven't seen those I will link my most recent day at home uh, down below for you guys and I I will see you in my next one. Bye.